In our experience, climbing skins are super durable, but eventually skin glue can and will uh, degrade and start to wear out. Uh, and broadly, there's two reasons that skin glue uh, will tend to wear out. One is uh, that because it's, it's always being pulled against itself and being pulled from a skin, it can start to come out of the body of the, uh, of the skin. And that just means that you've got a climbing skin that's been used a lot for a longer time and the glue is just, the hold to the, the rest of the skin isn't as strong as maybe the hold to, say, another bit of glue or the hold to a ski. In that case, that may mean that the skin is getting, getting older and it may be time to re-glue the skin. We work in our process when applying the glue to make sure that we've optimized our process uh, so that we have the best possible glue hold uh, into our skin material. Uh, the second way the glue degrades is it starts out, it's, um, it's a very sensitive material. It's kind of uh, almost a glass. It's between a liquid and a solid. And when you receive uh, this glue, it's the closest to a solid that it's gonna be. Over the life of the skin, there's lots of processes that will degrade the skin, and most of those will tend to make the skin glue softer. What that means is that you may find that the skin glue kind of stretches more um, and, and pulls more away from the backing. Without getting too technical about it, because then I'd bore myself, there's a lot of very, very long molecules that are together in this skin glue. And as they degrade, or as they get heated, as they get hit by UV, they might absorb oxygen, or those long molecules might break down into shorter molecules, which tend to make them more liquid-like and less solid-like. Some of those things that can make this happen are heat. Uh, so being at a high temperature for a long time will tend to cook the glue um, and make it degrade. Ultraviolet, we've got ultraviolet inhibitors in the skin glue, but being out in direct sun exposure uh, for a long time can be very, very bad for, uh, for climbing skin glue. And then just the constant wear and tear, the fact that the skin glue are always being pressed against each other and peeled apart, that gradually just mechanically breaks down the skin glue. Uh, and one of the reasons that we recommend using skin savers for longer term storage is that when the glue is folded against itself for a long time, that bond becomes stronger than when it's a short time. So for a lap during the day in the mountains, you may have the skin folded against itself for an hour or three. That's not going to form a very, very strong bond. It's fairly easy to peel apart. But overnight, or more importantly, over the summer, when the skins are put away, those glue layers are touching each other for a very long time, and they can form a, a very strong bond. When you use skin savers, that stops the glue from touching itself and means that you're not getting that strong bond. So you're not getting that event that the glue is peeling apart from itself that might break the glue down.